I'm going to do a paper palm tutorial for you. I've had a lot of people ask me how I make them. So I thought I would do a tutorial so that hopefully um, this will teach you all how to uh, make these. So let's get started. Paper palms are really inexpensive to make. Um, I like this tissue paper from the dollar store. I get it anywhere from 75 cents to a dollar. Once you take the tissue paper out of the pack, you'll want to open it up long ways, and then you're going to fold it in half to make a crease. Sometimes you might have a crease in the right spot, but um, you need this as a guideline to cut it in half. So these tissue paper packs are 10 sheets, and this now makes 20 layers for your paper palm. And mine is approximately 16 inches by 20 inches. And my folds are about one and a half inches wide. But you can make them bigger or smaller. You can experiment with that. And then I'm going to accordion fold the whole thing. Once you've done that, you want to make sure that you press down so that you have some nice creases in your paper. And open it up, lay it out. And I'm going to take about four sheets at a time and accordion fold them back up. Smooth it out. And then I want to cut around the top. So you're going to cut the folded edges. And this is really important because this is what gives you the shape on the outside of the paper palm. And you want to do this on both sides. There's another technique that you can use as well. So it should look like this. Um, this is if you don't want to do the in like four pieces at a time kind of thing. You can just take your whole bunch of folded paper and cut sort of semicircle to the middle and flip it over and cut semicircle to the middle again. I'm a little more picky and I don't really like doing it this way because I find that the edges aren't rounded as nicely. So you're going to take your layers and put them all back together and then you're going to take a couple of feet of fishing line. It's always better to do a little bit more because if it's too long you can always cut it down depending on the length that you need and then you're going to tie it in the center and you want to make sure that it is tied in the center the best that you can get it centered because if you do it a little bit off then the paper palm won't look as round it'll be kind of lopsided. The other thing I'm doing is tying a loop at the top for hanging and then opening it up so I can make sure that it's pretty even and also when you start to open the layers it um, makes it a little bit easier. So this part you have to be patient with, probably will tear a bit when you first start doing these. And with that first layer in the center, you kind of want to squeeze it a little bit. This is what makes the shape of your paper palm. So you want to do that on both sides. So I tore it. So you're going to take those and then just kind of squeeze it together. And then what I do is I work in a circular motion forward, kind of like a wheel. And you don't want to do one side at a time just because, again, it's not going to look as even. If you go around and around, it kind of um, makes it blend better at the edges. And an easier way to do this, I generally like to sit and put it in between my knees as I do it. But for the demonstration, I did it on the table. And for the last layer here, I'm just separating it a little bit and keeping it centered because when you fluff this up and shape it, it's a little bit um, harder to try and shape it if it's pulled apart too much down the middle. And then we're just going to fluff it up. Reminds me so much of a peony. Then you may just have to adjust the string a little bit if it's moved. And this one's pretty much ready to go.
there you have it. For the second one, lucky enough, there was a fold down the middle. So we're going to do the same process as we did the last time. Cut it down the middle, open it up, put the layers on top of one another, and then once that's done, you're going to start snipping all the way along the edges. And I'm going to say these cuts are probably about one and a half to two inches into the sides of the paper. You don't want to do too much because it's going to be really hard when you try to separate the layers, but you want to make sure that you do enough that you don't see where those little pieces end and the full piece of paper starts. Accordion fold it, and we're going to tie it again in the middle. Make sure it's centered. Make sure it's even and then start fluffing it out. And this one is a little bit harder, so you may want to do a few practice runs with the other type. Just because these layers are a lot harder to pull apart and they will tear a lot easier. This one's kind of neat. You could almost make it into like a, a monster or something with some eyes on it. Looks like a real pom pom pom. <laughs> and then you just want to fluff it out and shape it. And the longer you cut the pieces too, they kind of get this little curl on the end. This looks very textured. And then if you want, you can totally just experiment. This one was just very random. I actually don't really like the way that it turned out. I don't like the look. It's kind of spiky, but it's whatever you prefer. And be creative, you can do whatever you want to the ends. So that's it for the paper palm tutorial. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave it in the comment section below. And thank you very much for watching.